Welcome back to Hutchinson, Kansas in the Hutchinson Sports Arena. The NJCAA Men's Basketball Tournament where it's been held every year since 1949. Today we are entering day three, technically for the second time. And we have four incredible games ahead of us. The gentlemen warming up behind us, we have Odessa and Vincennes. Two blue bloods of all the blue bloods going at it to start things off today. Their blood is very blue. So blue. And Todd Franklin is from Kentucky, which is the blue grass state. Um, a lot of blue going on. A lot of blue going on. We're wearing blue. We're wearing blue. Uh, it's gonna, someone wearing blue will win today. And we couldn't be happier to be here with you to talk about Vincennes and Odessa. What are your first thoughts about Vincennes and Odessa, Brandon? Well, um, <clears throat> it's going to be a rock fight. Um, this is not going, I, I don't think we're going to see 81 points out of Odessa tonight like we did in their first game. Um, what was so interesting about that first game, you know, Odessa gets into those grimy, grindy type games, but when they scored 81 points, they shared the sugar. There was no, you know, 25, 30 point guy. And, and if they're going to win this game, they're going to need that. They don't have that guy that's just going to go off. Todd Franklin is, is going to, I mean, look, he's a heck of a coach. He's an incredible coach. He's a national champion. He's going to be prepared for this. So if Odessa is going to win this game, they're going to have to share everywhere and bring that Python defense. And the reason that Odessa is here is they won 81 to 52 over Trinidad State. Brandon Macklin led the way with 13. Willie Lightfoot, the left-handed sharpshooter, chipped in 11. Uh, the most impressive part to me, two things for Odessa. They out-rebounded Trinidad State 45 to 26, and they forced 21 turnovers. For them to beat Vincennes today, they're going to have to force some turnovers, and they're going to have to, you know, win big on the rebounding. This is going to be a fantastic battle because these might be the two best rebounding teams in the tournament. You know, when we look at Vincennes' statistics on the year, they have out-rebounded opponents by about 14 and a half rebounds a game. They are terrific defensively, holding teams to 63 points a game and only allowing teams to shoot 29% from the field. Now, the downside is they don't shoot the ball really well either, right? No. Vincent's kryptonite is they only shoot 34% from three. They've had games where they've really struggled from the outside. We know Bucket's going to drop into that 3-2, 2-1-2 type of zone, and they're going to have to hit some shots from the outside. For sure. And Odessa, the same thing. Not a great shooting team. Um, <clears throat> interestingly enough, as good as these teams are at rebounding, as far as effective size and usage size, they're two of the smaller teams in the tournament. But, you know, our favorite player may be on the floor today, and, and you and I's X Factor, I'm sure, is Michael Osebonsu from Ben Sens. He might be somewhere between 5'11 and 6'4. So, I don't know. Somewhere, somewhere in that mix there. Um, and he's and he's maybe one and it of may the, not matter. It, he's maybe the best rebounder in the entire tournament. Right. Um, you know, now what's interesting here though is he might actually match up a little better against somebody who's bigger. Get low. Low man wins, right? Low, like low man wins. He gets under your hips and he's moving you. He's putting you where he wants to put you. Um, so watching that kind of matchup here today, you know, obviously Odessa has Ray who did some high flying things. Uh, maybe that comes out even a little bit more today. But and, you know, for Odessa, for me, for them to win this game, obviously sharing the ball uh, when they get their scoring opportunities, and then Macklin has to lead that press. He has to he be was that so good versus active, at the point ridiculous, of that athletic, just hair on fire presence today. And I want to give you some statistics because Brandon, I know you're a numbers guy. Uh, Todd Franklin has been to the national tournament 15 times. Only Gene Bess has been here more often. 15 trips, unbelievable. Todd Franklin versus Texas teams on this court, 13 and three. Woo. The Todd father has done well on the sports arena. He's done incredibly well against Region 5 and Region 14 opponents. 2019, Vincennes defeated Odessa on the way to their fifth, excuse me, to their fourth national tournament championship. Does Chris Bowman turn the table today? We'll find out shortly. But let's talk about the games coming up today. We have uh, Indian Hills Wallace State following this one, Salt Lake versus Connors, and then Chipola Hutch is our nightcap. What are you excited about as we get into today's action? You know, I, I think as good as Wallace State was, you know, that, that short bench um, is going to be tough because Indian Hills is quite the opposite. They can go pretty deep, but that double buy is always tricky. Uh, teams have always shown that in this tournament. So, you know, if Indian Hills is able to get out and run and, and get things moving, that's, that might be a tough one for Wallace State, but they do have the athletes. They look the part 
one through six. Yeah, the four teams with a bye won yesterday, right? So we have Barton, Northwest Florida, South Plains, and Triton have punched their ticket into the Elite Eight. Into the Elite Eight. I think the, the key for Vincennes, Indian Hills, Salt Lake, Chipola today is can they survive the first half? as they adjust to their new surroundings, to the new floor against a team that's already played here. So I think that'll be the differentiating factor. Can these teams keep it close in the first half, give themselves a chance in the second so they don't dig too deep of a hole? And for Vincennes, they do not want to dig a hole against this Odessa team because getting down eight points to Odessa is like being down 20 points to most teams. For sure. One I'm watching today is that Salt Lake Connor State game. Connor State, mm -hmm. again, we've talked about earlier, still kind of this unknown commodity in a lot of ways. Salt Lake, very good shooting team, not as good as maybe as a shooting team as they were last year, but maybe have, stronger inside. But stronger inside, and and uh, as a team, maybe not as good, but at the top level for them, two of the best shooters in the country. But those have to go in today because otherwise, Connor State does have the athletes to hang in there, does have the athletes to get up and down the floor and play at the pace that Kyle Taylor's going to want to play at. Yeah, Connor State's going to enter this tournament unranked and honorable mention and certainly has the talent not only to win today to get to the Elite Eight, they have the talent to win the whole thing. And what I call their Iron Five, they played 189 out of the 200 minutes. The TV timeouts helped them. For sure. Right, that is a big help. Having the national tournament format go to a game off or a day off on Friday to play on Saturday. It's a better format today for a shorter bench than years past. Absolutely. And we've actually seen that with some teams now, uh, like Wallace State included, where, you know, yeah, they, they can't go very deep into the bench. They don't need to unless they get into foul trouble or something like that. But from an energy standpoint and things like that, they, they have the ability to recruit, recover, be able to, you know, stay on or point on point. Um, in a way that maybe teams haven't been able to do in the past. I'll tell you what, there's no place on earth I'd rather be than right beside my man, Brandon Goebel, as we enter day three for the second time of the national tournament. We have eight amazing teams that are going to be on the court today. And when we end our broadcast, you know, in the wee hours of the morning, we're going to be down to just eight remaining teams. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to ESPN Plus, get signed up. Best basketball in the country is about to be played. We're minutes away from Vincennes Odessa at the Hutchinson Sports Arena.